Hey there guys, welcome back to another Monster Super League episode. It's your boy Odin, and today I wanted to go ahead and cover the uh, Colossus. Uh, today is Tuesday, so I believe the Fire Colossus should be up. Um, I will go ahead and cover the Dark one and the Light one in a later video, but I figured this is the perfect time for me to go ahead and just go over the Colossus and show you guys how you pretty much uh, can complete it or how you want to do it. Um, in general, I will always recommend people to have a crit damage lead uh, with Courageous Strikers. Um, unfortunately, the way that Colossus is built, you can't really go for survivability. You're better off just kind of uh, nuking the boss. Uh, so in other words, you want to have uh, max crit, uh, max attack, you know, and, and some pretty decent resist and um, high attack uh, substats for your mons. I definitely recommend your Courageous Strikers to have a 100% crit rate, um, especially if you're going to be using the crit damage uh, lead. Uh, a really excellent mod to have for this is going to be that uh, Water Harlequin, for example, for the Fire uh, Colossus. Uh, she comes with a um, Deathblow uh, leader skill, which is increased as critical hit damage, which means that you know she's going to increase your damage uh, from pretty much uh, your Courageous Strike. So she does have Courageous Strike and a 3-star skill, which again makes her a really excellent uh, leader for this particular uh, event. Uh, another monster that you could use uh, would be the uh, Water Indra, although Water Indra does not have Courageous Strike on the first skill set, so I am using my Dark uh, Shawu Jin, and I'm also using my Water Balrona and the uh, Fire Shinobi. As you guys know, I did pull the uh, Water Balrona in the last video. Um, and uh, I had two of her, but I managed to buy the purchase or purchase the last one with the uh, uh, Super water gleam that you get from the uh, points during the V3 event on the weekends uh, So she has uh, courageous strike on the three star skill and she is sitting at a hundred percent chance to crit with uh, attack attack crit rate uh, My shinobi uh, likewise, uh, he's sitting pretty pretty good. I, I I want to say that Mishinobi is probably not the best for this event, but he does do quite a bit of damage. Um, he has some pretty high resist substats and whatnot. So, um, so I'm pretty much just going to go ahead and get into it just to show you guys kind of how you want to do it. Again, the Fire Colossus is, is not too, too crazy hard. I, I definitely recommend a crit damage lead with a 100% chance to crit on all your mons. You definitely want to have them an attack attack crit rate. Uh, Ruined or Valor sets are preferred, but uh, if you don't, if you can't get to 100% chance to crit, you're always, uh, you know, pretty much uh, encouraged to use the Intuition set as well. Um, my Shawu Jing is actually sitting on a Intuition set currently, uh, if I remember right, um, and it's because it has a really high resist uh, set on it. Yeah, see, 13, 24. And, uh, oh yeah, that's right, he's sitting on his, uh, trinkets as well, so, you know, definitely use some trinkets. Yeah, this one has 13.5 resist. Uh, trinkets are actually really good now, um, especially if you need to get that extra kick out of your mons, so not too bad. Um, but definitely go ahead and use them. Another, uh, really good mon to have for this as a leader is, of course, the Fire Yuki. Um, I have her on my backup team just because... I'm going to be doing most of my damage from my first team here, and then the second team will just finish it off. Um, again, I've tried doing it with a survival mode where you just pick two really good healers and, you know, just kind of go through with Courageous Strike, but it doesn't really work out that well, especially if you use like an HP lead or an attack lead. You're kind of better off using a crit damage lead with a 100% chance to crit. It, they'll just die in like, you know, two turns versus, uh, you know, six or seven turns that it would take you normally. So we're just going to go ahead and try it out here. And I don't remember if I removed the uh, movie entrance mode or not, because uh, I just recently um, updated my Nox. Okay, so yeah, I did uh, skip the intro, so not too bad. All right, so pretty much what you're going to do is uh, just, you know, have them all and Courageous Strike on the three-star scale and just, you know, target the boss. So you want to make sure that yellow ring is on there, and then just, uh, I generally just do auto. And as you guys can see, uh, my mods can do a pretty decent amount of damage. That's about 30%. Uh, again, you want them to have a decent amount of resist just because he is going to hit really hard. Um, there are other ways to do this as well, um, but I've kind of realized that, it, at least for me, it's faster and easier to do it this way. You know, sure, they'll probably die here, but 
you know, at least I'll get enough damage for them to go through and uh, my second team should be able to finish it. Um, depending on how good you are on luck, uh, sometimes you'll actually be able to uh, finish him with just the first team. Um, but again, that's all kind of RNG dependent. You know, sometimes if your mons are not at 100% chance to crit, you may not be able to kill them. Um, but as you guys see here, my, you know, other mons here. The uh, Dark uh, Lucy is actually really good here. Um, again, the Yuki is just mainly there for the lead. But the uh, Light Indigo, or, or Light Wendigo, um, is really good for this event as well. Because he has a Courageous Strike on his Thesaur skill. However, I do know that not many of you guys will have him. Um, but he is also another great lead. He has, uh, I believe it's critical hit damage to light mons. So, you know, nothing too crazy there. Uh, what is this one? Zeal. Oh, it's uh, crit and um, attack. So it's actually a crappy gem there. All right, so we'll go ahead and do it again. And we'll see what we can do. Um, and again, guys, mainly... Try and see if you can find a crit damage lead. Uh, the the new recent uh, up change to the uh, wood Yuki is actually really good as well. Um, but uh, you know you're kind of gonna be using her for the light and the dark um, Colossus if you're gonna use her. Uh, another really good mon to have is actually the uh, light uh, Yaksha. Where is mine at? She's not a variant. Uh, but the Yakshas actually do have that same crit damage um, lead. Um, and I'm currently waiting to pull a uh, variant of her so I can make my light one a uh, leader instead because she has defense down on the 3-star skill and predator on the 5-star skill. Which will make her really good as like a secondary uh, lead if I don't have anybody with a courageous strike and a uh, uh, crit damage lead. So that's kind of like my next go-to mon aside from the fire Yuki, Yuki, although she's okay. She's not bad. Uh, let's see, another uh, good Courageous Mon to bring in here. Uh, I would say the Thors, but they're kind of more reliant on the second turn with their Courageous Strike. Trixie, I believe Trixie is a 3 star. Nope, she's not. Uh, I don't have her at Evo 3 yet because she hasn't been around for a while. For And I believe she was only capturable in like one event. <laughs> let's see, um, Sphinx, nope. Yeah, so I, I know it's kind of limited to what Mons you can bring in here, but in general you want to pick Courageous Strikers. Uh, the wood ones are actually really good for uh, the light and the dark colossus. Uh, for example, the wood merlin is really good. You can put him on a crit damage, attack, attack with high crit rate substats. If you can get to like 80% crit rate with uh, crit damage, attack, attack, he'll just demolish the colossus. It's not even funny. Uh, another good mod to bring, I want to say, is also the wood beigey. And of course, I'll make more videos on them. I just want to quickly show you guys the fire one. Uh, but my wood Veiji uh, is pretty decent. She has Courageous Strike on a 3-star skill. Um, so that's pretty much it kind of for the uh, strategy, guys. You just want to have a crit damage lead uh, with Courageous Strike on a 3-star skill uh, with some really high uh, crit uh, rate and attack, attack, crit rate. Or, you know, attack, attack, attack if you have, you know, a fairly decent... Um, crit rate uh, substats so again pretty much just target the boss here you don't really need to worry uh, too much about the uh, um, mini bosses here on the side mainly because you're gonna be nuking him so you just want to try to get it over as quickly as possible and again same thing it's about 30 something percent that I was just able to do there on the first hit and like I said depending on RNG you could probably do a little bit more I don't want my uh, uh, what about Rona to do the uh, five star active? Actually, I want them all to just do their normal three star, so that's why I just, you know, didn't use her uh, special skill there. Oh, I forgot to turn off auto. Great example of what not to do there, but I should still be able to uh, kill the Colossus. But I actually could have finished him off with just those two ones there on the first turn. Let's see here. Um, let's see if I can get the defense down on the Yuki. Nope didn't work all right well see not too bad you can bring your Indra Indra does do a pretty decent amount of damage um, pretty much any mon that has uh, some normal damage on the boss like critical hit damage or predator you can bring in here as well I believe the uh, water Loki is pretty good for this event as well um, but you know wow let's see uh, gem of the healer 
Oh, this is not that bad. Uh, oh, no, it's bad. Uh, I was kind of hoping I would have some resist or something. All right. And uh, that's pretty much it for the uh, Fire Colossus, guys. I will go ahead and cover the rest uh, probably as the week goes on. Um, but if you have any questions or any specific, um, you know, need uh, or help with building your uh, groups or your teams, um, just go ahead and, uh, you know, leave it in a question in the comment section down below. Um, and, or just join me up on the Discord. Um, just really quickly though, I will show you guys some better mods that you can use for the uh, Fire Colossus. Uh, you can also use this new um, Enkidu. Um, but you're going to probably use him slash her on the uh, second team. Uh, another really good mod to have is the Siegfried here because he has Exposed Weakness on the 3 star skill. So you could potentially use Expo Exposed Weakness and then, uh, you know, let's say your uh, Water... Um, Harlequin to do the damage with let's see who else uh, like I said the water Loki uh, let's go down here yeah water Loki has that hunter skill it's really good for the uh, fire Colossus uh, let's see who else is really decent for that specific event um, nah, you could use the the hollow I have used hollow before so he's actually really good, and he does have that increases critical hit damage uh, lead. It is only for water types, so just make sure you're cognizant of that. Um, you know, want to bring in the, uh, the advantageous, um, you know, typing mons for that specific event. Uh, but he's actually not not too bad of a leader. I totally forgot about him. So good mon to use for that. Um, let's see what's another good mon to bring there. Yeah, unfortunately, that it, it is kind of limited, you know, to what you guys have. Um, and but you can bring a few there. You could also bring the Shelly, you know, for the defense down. Um, but I would say that probably the Water Balrona, the Harley Quinn, uh, and maybe a Light and Dark uh, Courageous Striker, Striker is probably going to be your best bet. And like I said, you, you're more than welcome to bring Fire types. I brought my Fire Shinobi, and he did just fine. He did a pretty decent amount of damage. I wish that 433 would at least uh, incorporate some new way of uh, looking at uh, the uh, damage that's put out by a specific mon, so you can kind of see, you know, how much damage each mon's putting out during those, uh, you know, Colossus events. But uh, it's been almost four years, and they've yet to add any feature that allows you to see how much each uh, damage or how much damage each individual mon is doing. Uh, so I guess the uh, Water Sphinx is not bad either. He has uh, Unflinching Strike. Um, it does not do comparable damage to Courageous Strike, but, you know, after a couple turns, if you put him, like, let's say, on a Conviction set with a 100% chance to crit, he could be pretty, pretty useful. Uh, let's see, who else? Mm. That's pretty much it, I think, unfortunately. Yeah, you're kind of very limited as to what mons you can bring to the fire colossus um, but light and dark of course will always be the best the best uh, to bring um, and so yeah that's pretty much it guys let me know what you guys think uh, let me know what you teams you guys like to use for that specific mon or that colossus um, and uh, oh i forgot about her water on is is really good too um, if you don't have any other mon uh, the uh, damage for her for her hunter skill should be pretty good uh, so that's it guys let me know in the comment section down below who you have as your teams what you guys uh, are using who's your favorite mon for the colossus personally i really like the uh, dark shot wujing but and of course you know he is light and dark so not too many people will have him um, again guys i will be posting the rest of the uh, wood or the colossus guides in the following uh, days uh, but go ahead and leave a comment in the section down below if you need any help uh, with your team building or if you have any specific questions um, you know regarding colossus thanks guys i'll catch you guys on the next video